Hey everyone, at the 2022 Performance Racing Industry Trade Show at the Centroid booth, we caught up with Eddie Craywick of Vance & Hines. What type of cards does your company specialize in? Well, for us at Vance & Hines, at the RDC Race Development Center, we, uh, we focus on a lot of cylinder head work for customers. Uh, we do our own designs of cylinder head. Uh, we make our uh, NHRA approved Suzuki four valve cylinder head, also now our uh, NG cases. We do a lot of stuff. Our uh, our Centroids, for sure, workhorse in the shop. Uh, for customer stuff, it ranges from single cylinder to four cylinder. Uh, drag racing, road racing, some automotive stuff. Not a whole lot of it because we you know, choose to kind of stay in our motorcycle arena. But uh, we do some factory stock stuff in the uh, car arena. Lots of different things, but for us, it's the variety and uh, it's our Centroid that should have really helped out. Now, I know there's probably some stuff you can't delve into, what's proprietary, but can you tell us, have you noticed any improvements in your products since you started using the Centroid? We do a lot of customer, uh, what I'd like to say, development prototyping for a lot of uh, a lot of people in the industry. Uh, we do a lot of private labeling, a lot of different work for individuals that require uh, digitizing of the cylinder heads. And for us, really, uh, on the Centroid stuff, the digitizing software and just the way it works to the probing side, uh, that is what really shines for us because it allows us to take the basic cylinder head model, port model of everything, and be cutting it in a cylinder head within a few hours. You know, so it's really good when you could digitize a chamber and three or four hours later be cutting it. Uh, it gets heads turned around really fast and allows you to get stuff in and out because we all know when it's sitting on the bench, it's not making any money. Now, is there any future plans, new stuff you guys are gonna be running on the Centroid or any new products? Yeah, we actually are now. We're just, uh, we're going through our new NHRA approved villain Pro Stock motorcycle cases. Uh, it's gonna allow us to turn our, our current engine into a, uh, a Vance & Hines four valve engine, uh, completely Vance & Hines. So, Centroid's a big part of that. There's stuff that, you know, when you're machining, you go through the lightning process, you really gotta have uh, the articulation of the machine to be able to get into certain spots. And, you know, our, uh, our stuff really covers the 560's great machine. Uh, it's, it's sturdy, it's beefy, and it's enough that you could use smaller tools and have the rigidity to get it done. When you guys were in the market for a CNC machine, what made you want a Centroid over any of the other male to five axis? Well, we've had, we've had a couple different versions of the Centroid machines. Uh, really for us, having and being a customer already for past years, a lot of people ask us, why do we keep buying Centroids? There are other options. The, uh, to us, there is not any other option. The customer service and I would say the tech support side of it is second to none compared to everybody. Uh, we really appreciate our relationship side of it. So when you can pick up the phone, if there's a little glitch or something that might be a problem, fortunately for us, we're lucky because we work direct with Centroid hand in hand that we'll try prototype software, different beta stuff that uh, we have that opportunity to see in test to make sure we know it works really good, give our feedback to the company. And you know, the like I said, tech support and uh, customer service is second to none. If you were to talk to somebody who's kind of on the fence about purchasing one of our Centroid 5 axis machines, what would you tell them then? Don't even think about it. It's, uh, you gotta dive in and do it. You know, it's, it's a great opportunity. Uh, it's a great machine. And uh, again, like I say, nowadays, to me, customer service goes a lot further than even the product sometimes, because uh, it's just difficult to get people out the phone or get tech support. And if we need a part or we need something fixed, you know, there's, there's human error in it too. So, you know, you hit the wrong button, you make that Z, uh, you, you move the decimal point the wrong way and crash the net. It definitely doesn't make for good. Luckily, we don't do that a whole often, a whole lot or a very often, but uh, you know, every once in a while you will have that little snap. You know, when you could call somebody up and two days later, they got your back up and running. That is important because if that machine's not running, it's not making this money. And uh, so I would just tell you, go ahead and do it.